As Thanksgiving is only a few days away, so is the annual Macy's Parade. I found out more about Louisiana's debut in their 95th nationally renowned parade. Features mimicking the French Quarter, Jackson Square behind me, and Mardi Gras will all embellish one float that's not parading through the streets of New Orleans. When over 75 million people tune into the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, one float will look very familiar to Louisianians. It's an alligator crawling down the street, wagging its tail with its mouth open and with a pelican on its nose. It's a float with bite and lots of Louisiana flair, taking to the streets of New York City Thursday for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. For such a big occasion, the float needed to sell Louisiana right. We need a wow factor. And the wow factor is what they got. So after going back and forth, um, they finally said this is our last offer and it's the largest float ever. Not only is it 60 feet in length, but it also has French Quarter balconies and a paddle wheel pushing the float through New York City. And we wanted to make it larger than life, and that's what we've done. It's special and, and, and unique. Uh, it's entirely different than any float that you'll see in the parade. Counting down to the big day, the Celebration Gator is finally ready to crawl down the street. It is uh, now preparing for its ride down uh, the line of March. But designing the float came with some challenges. I think the biggest challenge is the state of Louisiana has so much to offer, and, and, it's, and the challenge is how do you tell that entire story within this float design? The story they're going for, one showcasing Louisiana's unique tourism. And the lieutenant governor hopes the float's features, showcasing Cajun culture, good times, and jazz with Louisiana native John Baptiste, will deliver tourists here. Reaching so many people with a good theme and a good, you know, warm and fuzzy feeling will make people say, well, let's go, let's go visit that city. Prime placement and all the national exposure is priceless. We just couldn't buy that kind of publicity. Whether it's fishing in the bayous or letting the good times roll in the streets of New Orleans, Nungesser hopes the float will bring in everyone to experience Louisiana. The Grammys Recording Academy announced today that Bastide has the most nominations for the 2022 show. And another well-known Louisiana native will be performing on Louisiana's float in the Rose Bowl Parade on New Year's Day. The lieutenant governor says they're hoping to have a number of riders, including American Idol's Lane Hardy, the Louisiana native spelling bee champion, a state first responder, and a hurricane recovery volunteer.